nowhere near. I'm so glad you came. Come on in. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We praise you, God. We thank you, dear God, for your faithfulness. We thank you for this day. We thank you for being alive. We thank you for Jesus. We thank you, Father, for your Holy Spirit. Lord, have your way in our lives, God. Have your way, God. Use us as your vessels, God. Lord, have your way during this service, God. Bless each and every person, God, that tunes in today in the name of Jesus, God. Supply their every need, God. Meet them at the point of their need, Father. We just thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness, God. We ask you to continue to bless us, God, dear Lord, as you have and protected us from coronavirus. We thank you, God. We ask you to remember those who have contracted the disease, God, the virus, Lord, we ask you to heal in the name of Jesus, God. We ask you to remember the leaders of our nation, God, the leaders of our countries, Father, in the name of Jesus, God. We ask you to remember the pastors, God, as they minister your word, God, in the name of Jesus, all over the land, God, the lay people, God, the people who don't yet know you, Father, Bless and draw people into your kingdom, Father. We just thank you, God, because you're faithful. And we say hallelujah. Bless your holy name. So, Father, have your way in our lives. Have your way in us, these, your vessels, God. Bless us, God, that we will decrease and you may increase in our lives and we love you and we praise you and we thank you lord even lead those in authority god concerning the children when they are to go back to school how they're to go back to school god guide and direct and we thank you for answering this our prayers in jesus name amen glory to your name glory to the name above every name the one who reigns on high. We sing glory. Come on, somebody say glory. Come on, somebody shout out the glory, glory, glory. Call on the glory of God. Glory, Lord, let your glory fill this place, Lord, even as we send up your praises, Lord. Even as we lift up praises, Lord. Even as we exalt you, Lord. Lord, we're looking for your glory to fall fresh on us, Lord. We're looking for your glory, Lord, to saturate our lives, Lord. Our hearts and our minds, Lord. Lord, we need your glory, Lord. We need your glory, Jesus. We don't want to live without it, Lord. We can't make it without it, Lord. We're desperate for you, Father. Let your glory fill us, Lord. Let your glory fill this place, Lord. Somebody shout glory! Somebody shout glory! Come on, somebody shout glory! Come on. Hallelujah. Come on, if you come to lift up the Lord, if you come to give Him the glory, put your hands together right where you are. Everybody clap. You can dance if you want to. Come on, shake off your shoes and relax your feet. Come on, somebody. <laughs> lift up the Lord right now. Somebody shout, hallelujah. hallelujah. What's the highest praise? Hallelujah. Come on. Say this, say. Glory, glory, glory to our King. Glory, glory, glory to our King. 
You're a keeper. You're my provider, my protector, my refuge, my fortress, my strength, my God, my Father, my only Lord. Yes, you are, Lord. Yes, you are, Lord. Yeah, yeah. Let's sing that one more time. Bring the new song to our
the things you've done, but for who you are. You are glorious. Lord, you are mighty. Lord, you are faithful. So we praise you. Say we praise you. Because you are God and God alone. We praise you. Lord, we bless you with all of our soul. We will bless you. We will bless you. We will bless you, Lord. We bless you. We bless you. We bless you. And your praises shall continually be in my mouth. Are they in your mouth? Are they in your heart? Say, we bless you. Say, we bless you. We bless you. Lord, we'll lift our hands. We'll lift our voices to bless you. Say we bless you. We bless you. Say we bless you. You're worthy, Jesus. Say we bless you. And we thank you for being God. For keeping us, Lord. For your mercies and grace. We thank you. Every morning. New mercies we see. So we thank you. For your goodness. For your love. For your kindness, we thank say we thank you. We thank you. We thank you, Lord. We thank you. Say we thank you. Say we love you. We love you. Say we love you. Say we love you. We love you. We love you, Jesus. We love you. Oh, and we sing, Lord.
Actions of man-made stitch freedom unravels like water quenched curls. The tapestry of I can only be echoed in supine carbon copies of his light. Below our time signature to a coexistence of joyous toe-tapping movements. Let our declaration be the cornerstone nurtured in breast-to-breast boomerangs. Remember the sonnet we can write together. Recall the guided journey back to who he said we can be. Let's live the truth in freedom. Today's America. I think what the virus has done has been to pull the veil back uh, from over some real problems in this country, some real divisions, class divisions, cultural divisions, racial divisions, religious divisions, you name it. Black people's lives can be exposed through racist violence. And no one is held accountable. How free are we? Are we? Freedom and liberty. Freedom. I can do whatever I want, whenever I want, and you need to get out of my way, so I can't. I can't breathe. I don't have to... Leave me alone! I don't have to put up with this. That's Leave me alone! <laughs> I need a box. Shut up! I will as soon as apologize. Shut up! They, they represent some sort of grave infringement on, on freedom. But we live in a country of freedom. We don't live in a country where the government tells us how to take care of our health. Stop that music real quick. I said, God got us out on this one, you ain't stopping us. God got us out on this one, you ain't stopping us. Tomorrow when you see that situation, God got my side on this one, devil. You ain't stopping us. You ain't stopping me. And when I say us, though, I need you to understand something, y'all. There's a reason why he says in earth as it is in heaven.
on your feet if you're not already. <laughs> if you are in the living room, I want you to dance around the room. I want you to shake yourself free. I want you to shake yourself free. I want you to shake yourself free. Come on. Come on. I want you to shake yourself free.
heard, and I want you to declare this thing wherever you are. And it goes like this, it's very simple. Just repeat after me. Sing it. Sing it with me. I'm living in the light now. 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 I'm DC in our home. Yes. <laughs> and we just have a little, a few things to talk about on today um, concerning God's love, not just his love, but his transformative love and breath. Yeah. In the earth. Yes. The Again, the breath of God. We have um, again seen and we've heard so many minister on the breath of God to breathe again and we want to continue to speak on that um, pertaining to our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ and how we can breathe and live yeah because during this season and time and even of course you we all know about jo um, George Floyd and said the phrase I can't breathe but 
there's a breath of God. Yes, there is. That's a fresh breath. Absolutely. And when we take on the breath of the Lord, we actually are transformed. That's right. Into His likeness, isn't that God's true? God's transformation. That's right. Breath, His breath for mankind. Uh, and varying from just our natural breath um, that sustains us physically, mm -hmm. there's a breath from the Lord that sustains us spiritually. So we want to talk about that on today. Let's go. <laughs> Genesis 2 and 7, uh, most of you have that, uh, know that scripture, and talks about um, the creation and that God breathed into man. And man became a living soul. And that spirit that he breathed in was not just a physical manifestation, but a spiritual manifestation Absolutely. into his spirit coming into our lives. And in the seasons that, in any season of our lives, when we understand who God is, um, he's willing and ready to come into our hearts and into our being. That's right. I think the worst thing um, uh, is that when you can't, breathe when there's no oxygen. I remember when um, I was in the hospital, or even when your oxygen is tainted. I was in the hospital and yeah. they, they hooked me up and they gave me oxygen through this little tube and I'm trying to breathe and all and um, I didn't I really have a breathing problem but when they hooked me up because the oxygen to me it was, didn't feel real, it didn't feel um, comfortable, um, it wasn't that outdoor oxygen yes. so it made it difficult to breathe yet it sustained me until I was able to get up and out, out and about and so a lot of times some of you may feel that way um, in in the things that your everyday life you may feel that way in the things that you're doing in your workplace in your families in your church yes. in your ministry maybe you're a leader yes. and you may feel like you cannot breathe because of the various things that are happening the bible says and it tells us and i wanted to read i think it's let's go here i'm gonna go uh galatians 5 13 because yes. Once you be once you're able to breathe, which the breathing portion is the freedom, yes, and that's where you become free, you know. And so it says he he tells us he says, you my brothers and sisters, were called to be free or called yes. to breathe, called yes. to breathe, you know. And then he tells us, you know, be careful with what you do with that freedom you have. Be careful then what you do with that breath you have, you know. Don't waste it because you are now. The unit for yes. that breath. You're the unit. And a lot of times we have to clean out our units, our air conditioners, or, or you know, and all, or our, um, we have a purifier sitting in our room. And it cleans the air. However, it is still not the air, the oxygen yes. from outside. It, there is such a difference in fresh, fresh air yes. than the oxygen that we're, right. uh, uh, I call it artificial oxygen. And the oxygen that God has given us, his breath, the breath of hope, life, um, you know, we use that and, and, and we use it through his word, uh, through the uh, nine uh, fruits of the spirit, yes. you know, the oxygen, that's a part of our, right. our lifeline love and patience and long suffering it's a part of our lifeline it gives oxygen yes. you know he said use that that's a part of our yes. breathing habits yes it says um now, oh, yeah. i just want to say in genesis 2 and 7 it talks about uh when when um god uh came into man he made yeah. him a living soul living soul yeah when he breathed into man yep he then became a living soul. That's right. That means that he took on the nature of God. Yeah. And we, we a flow. as individuals, yeah. um, sometimes walk around and don't really realize that we're not living. Our soul is not living. Yeah. Not living your best life. Yes. Yeah. They sang yeah. a few minutes ago about the best life, about that good life, yes. about that free life, yes. being free. That's exactly you know, right. and it, that's right. 
and so many are dissatisfied with their lives. Absolutely. And there are so many things, so, so many obstacles in, in uh, that we have around us. Yeah. We want to be free, don't we? Absolutely. And God has designed it for us to be free. Yeah. He didn't put us here and just have us to to walk on our own. Yeah. But yeah. he's there. He's yeah. the freedom in our lives. He is lives. the freedom. He, he is, is the freedom. Yes, he is. Absolutely. Um, Galatians 5, 1, freedom in Christ. It says, it is the freedom. That's the breathing component. Yes. Compon compon component. Component. <laughs> Thank you. Blah, blah, blah. It says that Christ has set us free. He, he's made us free, right? And it says, stand firm in the liberty you know, a stand firm in your freedom. It says, and then, and do not let yourselves be burdened or, 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 or have that yoke of bondage again. Don't yes. carry that, you know, because you become a slave to it. But it's telling us, he's telling us to be free. Slavery is a yoke. It, it's a weight. You know, but that, that bondage, I thought about, again, the yes. people, as we were saying, people have um, yokes of um, obligation, and I call it that pseudo-obligation where they feel that they have to, and, and it's not a freedom of doing, so they're, they're obligated to people or afraid of people and or, and, uh, or uh, controlled by people or families, they, they, their yoke could be um, financial, yes. you know, financially yes. um, feeling that they're not financially stable or um, um, wanting an outlet or, or suffer, they feel like they're yes. suffocating. Singles feel like sometimes they're suffocating. Married folk feel like they're suffocating. Illnesses yes. and uh, careers, you name it. Whatever your yoke of bondage yes. is, not only your spiritual yoke, yes. but whatever even in the natural, that yoke of bondage is because everything is connected, you know, yes. it will affect your soul. It affects your soul, yes, which will does. affect your spirit and your body after a while. And so that's why he said, you know what? Don't be entangled in all of that. In mm -hmm. fact, Ephesians, I mean, not Ephesians, uh, Galatians 5, yeah. Paul was writing this letter here to these people. <laughs> and he was yes. telling him, listen, I know some of you all, you're standing on the law of Moses, which is nothing wrong with that. Yes. But I have something even better. I have the fulfiller that I want to give you. And you need to um, focus in on the fulfiller. Now, if you choose to just focus in, yes. you know, focus yes. in on the law of Moses, then you do your thing. But I am presenting the fulfiller of life, the giver of life, yes. the breath himself. And that's Jesus Christ. The Lord did... Yeah. From the very beginning. Yeah. Give us that choice. Absolutely did. Yes, you know, he did. Life and death mm -hmm. is in the power of our tongue. Yeah. Yeah. If we choose life, we ch we make that decision. That's right. If we choose death, we make that decision. That's right. The Lord wants us to be able to have a great life. Yeah. He put us here to have a great life. He did. And he... Had, he gave us a prosperous life. Yeah. He gave us everything that we need to be able to be have a successful life. And and, and let me just thing. let me just show this spirit. Um, the I'm sorry, um, the scripture in Romans eight and two says that the for the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made us free from the law of <laughs> sin and death. Yeah. Yeah. He yeah. made us free. Yeah, yeah. And many of us walk on our own. Yes. And that's when we don't really have the freedom because only Christ can give us freedom. That's right. If the Son, therefore, S shall make, make you free. That's right. We are free, you're free indeed. indeed. That's right. And so we want to make sure that we're free in every area of our lives. Absolutely. No, no hindrances yeah no bondages yeah god wants you to be free on today. and that's in all areas of your life yes, in every area he wants a whole person yes. you know jesus would walk around and pray for people and he would say be thou made whole he just didn't they just weren't free in certain portions of their um their walk of life and their spirit man but in their soulish realm they were free Free. Yes. They were made whole. They didn't, even when he would heal, they were, they were able to see. Even the man who saw nothing but trees for a little while. But 
after that, he was able to see clearly in everything that he does. So if it's you out there that you feel like you were not made whole or you're not a whole person, you know, we're here. We're here for you to let you know and to remind you that he did. Not only did he pay a price for your freedom, but he expects you to move through, move on, uh, walk through and grow yes. in him and not stay where you are uh you know um because we're speaking on our social medias you know yes. and, and not really directly necessarily to our local church you know yes. we have to constantly present that um the cross to you. We do that yes. anyway, but we have to constantly present the cross to you because yes. there are so many who have sat in church. They yes. were in bondage and didn't even know they hadn't even come to the Lord. I just heard someone testify. They said, all of these years I've been singing, I've been, you know, doing all of the acts of the things that people wanted me to do in service, which I thought, you know, I was supposed to do, raise my hands, say hallelujah, you know, almost like a puppet. And they realized they never came to the Lord. They never had the infilling of the Holy Spirit. If that's you, you don't want to waste that time. Yes. You don't want to lose out on time like that. And maybe those, again, even leaders who have sat and taught the word yes. and preached the gospel and don't have a clue and distant from God. And maybe you want that drawing. You should want that water, that well of water to be free again, yes. to breathe again. God wants us to be free Absolutely. from every bondage. Yes. God did not put us in, us in bondage. No, he didn't. We put ourselves in bondage and then sometimes others, we allow others to put us in bondage. We did. But God can set you free. Yes, he can. God can set you free. All you have to do is confess your confess Christ as your savior, believe on him and follow thing. his word. Yes, Romans, yeah. Follow his word. Absolutely. And he'll make you free indeed. Yes, he will. He will Amen. do that. He will do that. I'm reminded of in the time where um every summer, well, rather every spring, I will my body can always tell when it's actually spring. I don't care um, if it's not March the 21st or the 20th. Those are the dates that are set up for spring by our calendars. My body will say, nope, not quite. Nope, not quite. It's not spring. It's not spring. And so when spring comes, and sometimes it's before that time, it may feel like spring. And my body said, it's spring. And so not only do we open up our windows in our home, we actually open up our windows because we want that fresh air. Yeah. We want that sunshine. We want the light to shine in. And that's what he does when it's springtime so because we know that yes. okay our, uh, our our regiment will be now our routine will be um now it's time to get on that jogging you know it's time to yeah. run because we want that fresh air in us it's time to do this and, and change our diet change our ways we <laughs> want to be able to change our lives today I believe. absolutely there's absolutely. someone that wants to change their life on today as pastor freddie said he that the sun sets free is free indeed. He's free you indeed. can make that a declaration right now. If you want to be free from every bondage, every situation in your life, mm -hmm. God can set you free right now. You can pray your prayer right yes, now you and say, Lord, I confess you as my Lord and Savior. I believe in your word and I trust you. I trust you, Lord. Take over my life. Take over my life. And he'll set you free, right? He will set you free. He will set you free. Doesn't matter where you are. Find a local church. Mm -hmm. A church of connect with believers. Allow them to encourage you. And God can change your life. He'll set you free. Right now, he can set you free. Amen. Right now, he can set you free. You called my name I ran out of that grave Out of the darkness Into your glorious day You called my name And I ran out of that grave Out of the dark 
So again, we thank you guys for tuning in today. And yes. we also thank you uh, for just connecting with us. And you can continue to connect with us. Yes. Check out the bottom of your screen. You can find us on social media. And uh, for dates and times, just check out the bottom of your screen. And if you like to give, oh, we thank you. Again, we got to thank you for your giving. You know, you bless so many people. We don't uh, uh, want to ever forget that. Again, you bless them with shoes. You bless them with clothes. You know, just because we're in-house doesn't mean that we're not going going out giving on the streets of DC, on the yes. streets of DC. And we thank you so much. Um, also, we thank you for your prayers yes, as well. Yes, we do. Yes, and we continue do. continue to listen. And I'm sure you've been blessed. We want to be a blessing uh, to all those as we go out as well. Yes, we do. So if you, have, Absolutely. If you would love to uh, give, um, as Pastor Freddie said, you can look in the bottom of your screen. But we want to be a blessing to you, and we want to be a blessing to others as well. That's right. And we also want to be reminded of those that we've been praying for. Yes. They are coming out of the hospital. Some are out of the hospital. Yeah. Um, I guess I hope I'm at liberty to say some. We won't say who they are. Okay. So we, we want to thank you for your prayers we yes. had so many who had the virus now we were blessed in our church that um that as far as the members themselves yes. didn't uh well let's say that that you know we didn't have a lot 
but um, as far as family members who had the virus and then those pastors that we know of and bishops yes. that we know of, we've been praying for you. Yes. We're so excited that some again have come out of the yes. hospital. They're doing well and we continue to pray for their families, their household, and we continue to pray for your church, your family. Yes. Uh, if you're not a member of a church, hey, we're online. Just you're looking at us every Sunday. It's KCDC. KCDC, Koinonia Congregation. Check yes. out the bottom of the screen. The telephone number's there. If you'd like to join us, well, as they say, yes, this with... branch of Zion, the old folk used to say that, remember? <laughs> <laughs> if you'd like to join us, feel free to connect with us. Yes. Just look, check out the bottom of the screen. You can give us a call yes. and someone will contact you. We love you. That's KCDC, where the people gather. That's right. God bless. God bless. Thank you.